Thank you for pressing play. Your presence here brings joy to my heart. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Arthur Ski. We hope you find it enlightening. Arthur Bodineski, 6 June 1916, November 1982, was an English comedian and actor. Ski was known for his short stature 5 to 1.58 m and distinctive horn-rimmed glasses, and his playful humor incorporating improvisation and catchphrase including hello playmates. I thank you pronounced I thank your and before your very eyes. Ski achieved prominence in the Urs in the first radio comedy series Ben Wagon and subsequently starred in several Gainsborough Pictures comedy films during the Second World War including Charlie's Big Hearted and 1940 and The Ghost Train 1941. His novelty recordings for his muster's voice include the B-Song 1938, a lasting part of his act. From the Urs, Ski was a prominent television presence and made regular appearances on the long-running music hall program The Good Old Days. Ski was made an OBE in 1969 and a CBE in 1981. He continued to appear frequently on television, radio and the stage until his death in 1982. As we progress through this video, let's shift our attention towards early life and education and uncover its hidden depths. Ski was born at 29 Moses Street, Dingle, Liverpool, the eldest child and only son of Betsy Bowden, d 1949, originally from Knutsford, Cheshire and Samuel Ski d 1958, company secretary of sugar products of Liverpool. Six months after his birth, the family moved to 90 Roslyn Street, Liverpool. It was here that a sister, Irene Dorothy, was born. Ski was educated at Street Michael's Council School and the Liverpool Institute for Boys. Brace yourselves for the next chapter, where we'll be dissecting career. Ski served in the Royal Welsh Fusiliers in the First World War and performed in army entertainments. This would prove an excellent training ground for his career in show business, his first professional appearance coming on stage at the Hedgate Theatre in Colchester on 31 March 1924. After working as a clerk for Liverpool Corporation's Education Department, he was in a touring concert party, the music halls and was in the stage company of Paris Pinder on the Isle of Wight in the early years before he rose to stardom in 1938 through his role in the first regular radio comedy series, And Wagon on the BBC. And Wagon began as a variety show, but had been unsuccessful until Esky and his partner, Richard Murdoch took on a larger role in the writing. Get ready for an enlightening exploration as we dig into film roles and understand its role in the broader context. During the Second World War, Ski starred in several Gainsborough Pictures comedy films, including Band Wagon 1940, based on the radio show Charlie's Big Hearted and 1940, The Ghost Train 1941. I Thank You 1941, At Room Boy 1942, King Arthur Was a Gentleman 1942, Miss London Limited 1943, Bees in Paradise 1944, The Love Match 1955 and Make Mine a Million 1959. His last film was Rosie Dixon Night Nurse 1978, starring Debbie Ash. As we progress through this video, let's now turn our gaze towards television. In the early years, Ski appeared on an early form of BBC television's spinning disc invented by John Logie Baird that scanned vertically and had only 30 lines. Ski had to be heavily made up for his face to be recognisable at such low resolution. When television became electronic, with 405 horizontal lines, Ski was a regular performer in variety shows. When television returned after the Second World War, his first TV series was Before Your Very Eyes, 1952, named after his catchphrase. On 3 May 1956, Ski presented Meet the People, a launch night program for Granada Television. In 1957, writers Sid Colin and Talbot Rothwell revived the band Wagon format for Living It Up, a series that reunited Ski and Murdoch after 18 years. 
He continued to appear frequently on television in the ERS, such as being a panelist on the ITV talent show New Faces, where his usually sympathetic comments would offset the harsher judgments of fellow judges Tony Hatch and Mickey Most. He also appeared on the comedy panel game Joker's Wild. He made many TV appearances in variety, including BBC's long-running show, The Good Old Days. His final professional engagement was the green tie on The Little Yellow Dog, which was recorded 1982 and broadcast by Channel 4 in 1983. Let's zoom in on radio and understand its implications. In the late years, Basky participated in a BBC radio show called How Do You Do in which listeners could write into the BBC asking for him to come and broadcast a show from their homes. Twelve shows were broadcast with Arthur, his daughter Anthea and special guests, as well as a surprise guest each week which was revealed sometime throughout the programme. The theme of each show was worked around the occupation of the family from where it was broadcast. This was broadcast on the light program. Only one of the shows was recorded onto acetate discs, which are now held at the British Library. During the Urs and Urs, he appeared in many sitcoms, including Love and Kisses, Arthur's Treasured Volumes and The Arthur Ski Show. He was the subject of This Is Your Life on two occasions, in December 1959 when he was surprised by Eamon Andrews, and in December 1974 when Andrews, dressed as Humpty Dumpty, surprised him on a television show while discussing the art of pantomime. Basky made four appearances on the BBC radio series Desert Island Discs in 1942, 1955, 1968 and 1980. He shares the record for most appearances on the programme with David Attenborough. Get ready for a captivating exploration as we unravel the layers of theatre and their profound significance. A ski appeared in the West End musical Follow the Girls. He also made many stage appearances as a pantomime dame. With our foundation established, it's time to explore recordings and its relevance to our overarching theme. A ski's recording career included the B-Song which was an integral part of his stage and television act for many years, The Thing Ummy Bob and his Thing Tune, Big Hearted Arthur which was also his nickname. In 1941 a song he intended to record, It's Really Nice to See You Mr Hess After Hitler's Deputy Rudolf Hess Fled to Scotland, was banned by the War Office. A collection of ASCII's wartime recordings appear on the CD album Bandwagon Big Hearted Arthur Goes to War. Let's now venture into the realm of Private Eye and explore the fascinating intricacies it holds. Private Eye magazine in as regularly made the comment that he and the Queen Mother had never been seen in the same room together, referring to the fact that they were about the same age and height and suggesting that the Queen Mother was a ski in drag. Now, let's redirect our focus towards honours and discover its significance in our narrative. Ski was appointed OBE in 1969 and advanced to CBE in 1981. Now, let's shift our perspective and explore personal life through a fresh lens, unlocking new perspectives. Ski was married to Elizabeth May Swash in 1925 until her death in 1974. He was the father of actress Anthea Ski. In this segment, we'll be unraveling the complexities of death and exploring its multifaceted nature. Askey carried on working on his comedy career until just before he was hospitalist in July 1982, owing to poor circulation, which resulted in gangrene and the amputation of both legs. During his stay as an inpatient he was kept company by Tony Lee at the suggestion of nursing staff. He died in London's Street Thomas's Hospital on 16 November 1982 and was cremated at Putney Volley Crematorium. In the next segment, we'll be exploring film and its implications for our subject matter. Year title roll notes 1937 Calling All Stars Waiter 1940 Band Warden Arthur Ski Credited as Big Hearted Arthur 1940 Charlie's Big Hearted Aunt Arthur Linden 1941 The Ghost Train Tommy Denver I Thank You Arthur 1942 Backroom Boy Arthur Pilbeam King Arthur Was a Gentleman Arthur King 1943 Miss London Limited Arthur Bowman 1944 Bees in Paradise Arthur Tucker 1955 The Love Match Bill Brown 
1956 Ramsbottom rides again Bill Ramsbottom 1959 Make mine a million Arthur Ashton friends and neighbours Albert Grimshaw 1972 The Elf Garnet Saga himself 1978 Rosie Dixon Night Nurse Mr. Arkwright Let's now turn our attention to television and uncover the fascinating insights it brings to the table. Year title role notes 1952 Bet Your Life Arthur Go I E TV Movie 1953 The Love Match Bill Brown TV Movie 1955 Love and Kisses Bill Brown 5 Episodes 1957 A Santa for Christmas TV Movie 1960 Arthur's Treasured Volumes Various 6 Episodes 1961 The Arthur Ski Show Arthur Pilbeam 6 Episodes 1964 90 Years on Billy Merson TV Movie 1966 Second Hand Honeymoon Arthur Bowden TV Movie 1966 Aladdin and His Wonderful Lamp Widow Tonky TV Movie 1967 No Strings Arthur Anna's TV Film As we venture forward, let's examine legacy in detail and gain a deeper appreciation for its significance. Arthur Askey is among other famous names in the Dirk Wears White Socks version of Friends by Adam and the Ants. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.